I realize it's gunshots and I start to run, try to start to run and boom, collapse straight to the ground. A mass shooting near the Super Bowl parade in Kansas City last week sent parade goers scrambling. One person was killed and nearly another two dozen were injured. Now Missouri's Republican led house has passed a new piece of gun control legislation. Lawmakers who attended the celebration were reportedly forced to hide in bathrooms to shelter from the gunfire. Now, in a bipartisan effort, lawmakers passed legislation to ban celebratory gunfire in cities. However, police say the bullets that rained down at the Super Bowl parade were not related to an act of celebration. This appeared to be a dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. When it comes to gun laws, the Show Me State has significantly fewer restrictions than other states, according to CNN, noting 155 mass shootings have occurred in the state since 2013. According to the gun control group, Every Town for Gun Safety, Missouri ranks 38th when it comes to what it calls gun law strength. This week, lawmakers came together passing a ban on celebratory gunfire, 120 to 26. The measure is named after 11-year-old Blair Lane, who died after a stray bullet hit her in the neck while she was at a family 4th of July party in 2011. Authorities say Aaron Sullivan later admitted he and his friends fired dozens of rounds from a pistol at an apartment complex near the little girl's home, and one bullet hit Lane. The proposed law would make shooting in celebratory fashion within city limits a misdemeanor for first offense, with felony charges for subsequent offenses. Last year, the Missouri legislature passed a Senate bill cracking down on celebratory gunfire. However, Republican Governor Mike Parson vetoed the bill, citing issues with other crime provisions in the bill unrelated to the ban. The Kansas City Beacon reports gunfire after big events is only increasing in Kansas City. Last year, when the Chiefs won the divisional round playoff game, police say the shot spotter system recorded 33 rounds fired. And after the Chiefs won the AFC championship game, the number rose to 102 rounds. This year, after the Chiefs won the AFC championship, 130 rounds were detected.